This is lesson 6-1. It's about roots and radicals. So today what we're trying to do is find the nth roots, which would be like cube roots and fourth roots, and simplify radical expressions such as the square root of a number or the cube root of a number. So let's start with some vocabulary. If you see a, um, a radical such as this one, the number that's in the front is called the index. The symbol itself is called the radical sign and the number under the radical sign is called the radicand. So every corresponding power or every corresponding exponent has a corresponding root. So at 5 squared is 25, so the square root of 25 is 5. 5 cubed is 125, so the cube root of 125 is 5, etc. So here we're going to calculate some roots. So we want to know the cube root of 0 0.008. The answer to that would be 0.2 because 0 0.2 times 0.2 times 0.2 equals 0 0.008. Or in other words, 0.2 to the third power equals 0 0.008. Likewise, the cube root of one, negative 1,000 would be negative 10. And the cube root of 127 can be found by taking the cube root of the numerator and the cube root of denominator separately, so that would give us one-third. Notice there's no plus or minuses on any of these. Okay, in example B here, we're doing fourth roots, so the fourth root of one would be plus or minus one, because one to the fourth is one, but negative one to the fourth is also positive one. If we were to take the fourth root of negative 0 0.0001, we would say there are no real roots. There are roots, but they're imaginary, and for this chapter we're not going to deal with imaginary stuff. Um, and then the fourth root of 1681st, you would take the fourth root of 16, which is 2, fourth root of 81, which is 3, and put a plus or minus on it. So this page summarizes what we just discovered on the previous page, which is if the index is odd, there's only one real root. So if you're doing a cube root, you get one real root. If the index is even, like a fourth root, you get two roots, you get the positive and the negative root. But if the index is even and the radicand is negative, then that means that you get no real roots because they're imaginary and we're not doing imaginary. Here are some examples that are a little bit more complicated because they have variables in them. So if we're going to do the square root of 16x to the 8th, we take the square root of 16, which is 4, and then the square root of 8 is a little bit tricky. So we're looking for if we have 8x's, and we want to take the square root, that means we want groups of two. So there's one, two, three, four groups of two. So the square root of eight, x to the eighth is x to the fourth. So what you can do is take your index and divide your exponent, and that will give you um, your variable exponent. So for example B, we have a to the sixth, if you take 6 and divide it by 3, you get 2, so this will be a squared. Take 9 divided by 3, you get 3, so we get b cubed. And then for part c, doing the same thing, 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 12 divided by 4 is 3.